Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'm going to show you how to redirect to a new page after a form has been submitted in Elementor. So let's uh, let's use a sample here of what we would want to do. Let's say we're trying to offer somebody a um, we want to give them a form to fill out in order to collect their information about, maybe we're going to do a giveaway. Okay, so we, we collect their name, their email, and so forth. And so we're going to give them a giveaway, but we want to land them on a page, not just um, have it say, thank you for your submission, but we want to land them on a new page. It says, great, you know, your, your gift is on the way. Here's some other exciting resources, you know, something like that. So we want to send them to a page that has more information, you know, kind of a landing page, like an after I filled out the form landing page. Okay, so by default, Elementor has, um, when we're using Elementor Pro, there's the form feature. Okay, so I'm gonna drag that over here just so we can pull that out and see what it looks like. Now, by default, we've got some, some standards here. We've got the name, email, and a message. So this would be like a contact form, okay? So let's say after they submit the contact form, we want them to, we'll use a different scenario now, we want them to go to a page that has more information about, you know, the help library, the, um, you know, where they can get more resources, things like that, right? Lots of different reasons why we might want to send them to a new page. So by default here, we have, again, the name, email, and a message. And then we show, you know, the button here, the send button. So that's also part of the default. Then there's this actions after submit. So this by default, again, is set up to collect submissions, meaning they'll be in the WordPress admin and an email, send an email notification uh, that this form has been submitted. That email notification would be, you know, maybe to an admin or, you know, uh, someone on the team or even yourself, right? Just so you know that it happened. Okay, so that's what that is. Then if you'll notice that this says collect submissions, so there's a collect submissions option here. And then this has email, so there's an email option here. Okay, we're going to come back to this in a minute. So under collect submissions, it basically just says these are collected and it'll be saved to the in the WordPress admin under elements or submissions. And then under email, that's where I can configure what message am I going to be sent or who is it going to be sent to when this form is filled out. So I have all those settings there that I can configure. And then there's also some options to create steps. So it could be a multi-form step here. And then some additional options. Uh, this would be more for like some, uh, maybe some CSS or uh, JavaScripting, things like that, because we want to name the form and uh, be able to call certain things for it. So again, those are all defaults. So you can leave that all alone just as it is. Um, but I want to now, after the form has been submitted, I want to take them to a new page, okay? So again, the way this is set up by default is I fill out this form, I hit send, and it basically just reloads on the same page, a little thing, your form has been, you know, your submission has been sent, something like that. Okay, so now I want to change that. I want something else to happen after the form is submitted. Okay, so that's where this term actions after submit. Now, if I click this little plus sign here, I actually have a lot of different things I can do in here. I mean, I can hook it, uh, do a web hook to uh, like a third party CRM, something like that. Um, there's also some built in CRMs like Active Campaign. Uh, we use WP Fusion to connect it with our Keep CRM. Um, you can have it do a pop-up, things like that. So there's a, quite a few things that are already built in, but we're actually just gonna choose redirect. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on redirect and you'll now see there's an option down here that gives me controls and configuration for the redirect. So pretty simple here, I'm just gonna open up redirect and then what page do I wanna redirect it to? Okay, so obviously all I wanted to do here is if I, I need to have the page that I'm gonna redirect them to. Okay, so I would create that first have that page created, then I come create this form that once it's submitted, will then take them to that page. So I simply just put in the URL for that particular page that I wanted to go to. Maybe you just want to land it back on your homepage. I um, wouldn't recommend that. It doesn't really give a lot of direction on where they're going to go, but just as a sample, we just simply do that. So now when they fill out the form, put my name, email, message, and I hit send, it's now going to land them on this page. That's it. That's all we have to do. We just simply go to actions after submit, add the redirect option and configure the redirect on where you want it to go. And it's that simple. Again, another reason why we love Elementor and how easy it is to use and configure the options on the website so that we can get more leads or give our visitors more of what they're after. Uh, just a great tool in general. If you have any questions on this or anything else, 
you can feel free to reach out to us at team at ballinbrands.com.